hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is soma and to all of you that keep coming back hello and welcome back quick reminder if you've never subscribed just to remind you to click that red button there that says subscribe and after that click the bell sign that way you get a notification whenever i upload a new video in today's video i wanted to share something with you guys that was brought to my attention personally the first time i got to know about daniela okeke was through um dear last channel um, some of you may know her and keep you know dear last channel with keeping it uh, keeping it real with yola i actually don't watch nollywood movies i don't know her and she was actually mentioned in relation to um stephanie otobo and suleiman's story so just to give you guys an understanding of who she is i'll let you guys watch this clip from dear last channel on the state vehicle registration website revealed that this same man of God had bought a Mercedes-Benz SUV for a popular Hollywood actress that is Daniela Okeke. There were reports that he also bought her house. However, within 24 hours, the state vehicle registration website had removed his name as the owner of the car, as in the name was there yesterday. By the following day, it was gone and people were like, hmm, something smells fishy. Also, up till now, Daniela never actually said they have nothing to get uh, I really admire her. She's a very good Nollywood actress. All she said was that her lawyer would release a statement. I'm still waiting for the statement. So I'm going to read it to you guys exactly the way the article, uh, exactly the way it's written in the article. If you actually Google uh, Daniela Okeke, finally opens up on alleged affair with Apostle Suleiman. A few um, websites wrote about it, but this website I'm reading from is called nigerloaded.com.ng. Uh, Nollywood actress Daniela Okeke has at last opened up on the alleged romantic affair between her and Apostle Suleiman of Omega Fire Ministries. Uh, and this was only out yesterday, 15th of September 2018. And then it says, Record that the actress was once accused of having a sexual relationship with a married pastor, um, Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Reacting, Okeke denied the allegation, saying she didn't respond earlier because her, law, because her lawyer found out the whole scandal was politically motiv motivated. Daniela Okeke made this known during a recent interview with Stella uh Dimoko Kokos. I'm sorry if I'm saying her name wrong. When she was asked about the rumor, she said, The man of God in question is a father to me, but we live in a world where people judge you with their own standard. They said he bought me a Benz Jeep. I don't own any and I have never owned any. I read he bought me the car and a house in his name. That's an insult. Am I a kid or a teenager that a man buys me a ride and a house in his name? It's very laughable because all my properties are in my name. My lawyer contacted the licensing office where they claimed they got the info from. And those ones said nobody contacted them. Aside, aside being a showbiz person, I have a relationship with God. I kept quiet because my lawyer found out it was more than just a stupid rumor or scandal. It became a political and religious fight against my father. I'm answering now, Stella, because you're asking it directly, which no one has done. And I also want to address these senseless rumors. Countless male actors have been helped by this same man. And even though they all kept quiet when the saga was on, does not mean anything is going on with them. Or it's because I am a woman and a good target for their plan and lies. I also heard talks about the threesome and all. I've never met the Stephanie Otobo girl in question in my life. I never knew who she was and the first time I saw her and heard her name was on the social media when she stated her drama. It never happened and I rejected such lifestyles. Anybody that stays contrary is free to assume. Daniela Keke was also asked if the reports affected her relationship with the man of God, which she replied, there is no relationship. If what I think you mean is what you actually mean, will you stop talking to your father because people are insinuating and assuming it's senseless. He is still my father and will always be no matter the insinuation or assumptions. I wanted to talk about this. At least um, this is her speaking uh, in the interview she did with this uh, lady, this person called Stella. At least that's her speaking. Okay, so at least we can go by what she said. Okay, um, I wanted to make this video because some of you know Suleiman's children in the Lord and his grandchildren in the Lord and his great grandchildren in the Lord and so on. You know they come and they leave comments, and you can tell from their comments that 
you know, I'm sorry, but it's like some of them cannot be helped. Like, there's nothing you say. You know, I feel like some of them have gone too far to be helped. Um, all we can do is pray for people like that. There's nothing more you can do. You know, you know, it, it takes the scales falling off people's eyes to get, you know, to get the point, to get the message. Now, um, you know, where I want to zero in, okay, whether they had an affair or not, is not what I even want to talk about in this video, right? But she said he's helped her. Okay, let me read what she said again. Countless male actors have been helped by this same man. And even though they all kept quiet when the saga was on, does that mean anything is going on with them? Or it's because I am a woman and a good target for their plan and lies? So basically, Suleiman has helped a lot of them, a lot of guys, and helped her as well. Okay? Um, the question is, you know, why is Suleiman helping people that are already rich? From what I've seen of this girl, she doesn't look like she's poor. So why is Suleiman helping someone that is not poor when there are so many church members? Why not the poor, richard people around him? Okay, she said he never bought her a car, but she never said he never bought me a house. She said, am I a kid or a teenager that a man buys me a ride or a house in his name? So... It's possible he bought her a house, but not in his name, in her own name. Well, that, that's what it sounds like. Like I said, I'm not making my video about Daniela. My video is this. How does a so-called man of God, why do you want to help someone that is successful when there are so many poor, wretched people in your church? Like, why? Why? And his children and grandchildren in the Lord, they will never ask these questions. Your father in the Lord, your grandfather in the Lord, your, actually your God, because you some of them treat him like a God. Some of those you, of you that are ready to defend him with the last breath, you know, that are ready to defend him with your last breath, you know, listen to this. Your pastor has been helping actors that are rich people, and some of you that are actually leaving these comments, I can bet you some of you are struggling and you're not getting this help can you guys actually actually can you guys actually tell me why a pastor or man of god needs to help an actress like I, I don't know did she ask him for the help or he just volunteered why volunteer to go help her rather than help all the poor people around you in the church why is that what jesus died for jesus in the bible talked about helping the poor helping the poor jesus never said anything about helping the rich Look at the Bible. The Bible talks so much about helping the poor and the needy. Helping the poor and the needy. Helping the poor and the needy. I'm yet to find where the Bible says you should help the rich. Give money to the rich. You know, buy a house or whatever to, for the rich. I, I don't know where that is. I have not yet seen where Jesus said, you know, buy a house for, for the rich. You know, give your money to the rich. Like, you know, what kind of anointing leads you to go help someone that is already doing well while there are so many poor people around you. I made a video before and I talked about how the Bible talked about how people sold everything they had and they dropped at the feet of the apostles. And, they, and it, I said, the Bible said it was distributed to everyone according to their needs. If the apostles wanted to keep everything to themselves, they would have done so. If the apostles wanted to build mansions, like a lot of our pastors are doing these days, they would have done so. If they wanted to have several, uh, you know, uh, several uh, chariots and horses and all of those expensive things, they would have done so. But they were after the things of God. They used the things that came to them as the ministers, if we can say it that way. They looked after fellow Christians. You know, but our pastors these days, they have, you know, they have so much. And the fellow Christians that Jesus died for are dying in starvation, are struggling. They can't pay school fees. They can't do anything. If your pastor's life is not like the life of Christ, ask yourself, say, what Christianity are they practicing? Because what God called them, what God called them. If the God that called Peter, Paul, Matthew, Luke, all the apostles in the Bible is the same God that called them. Why are, their li why are their lives so different from the apostles in the Bible? Why? Why are their lives so different from the life of Christ? Video. I saw that article and I said, let me come here and share with you guys. Hopefully more eyes will be opened. You know, people need to start waking up and start finding churches where Christianity is actually being preached and being practiced. I personally do not understand. Like I said, I read that article and I said to myself, how do you explain how a so-called man of God goes helping 
a girl that is doing well already where there are so many poor people around them how do you explain that i i don't know I, I seriously don't know there's nothing more we can do but to keep speaking the truth and keep praying to god to open more eyes you know that's all we can do keep speaking and keep praying to god to open more eyes and with that i'm just gonna say thank you all for watching until the next time guys bye 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 it's goodbye friends